Did y'all know that we have a Wild Willies Battle of the Builds car show at August 20th right here at Aikens? It's literally going to be here at the dealership, y'all. <laughs> I have some vehicles like this to showcase. So you got to come August the 20th right here at Aiken, y'all. It's going to be the battle of the bills. We want as many Wild Willys vehicles to show up as possible because it's going to be epic right here on the far parking lot on the west side of the dealership. Big area for us. Many vendors coming to showcase all of their products as well as our custom builds. Much like Chris from New York's F450 Reserve Edition just finished this thing up. Aikens, y'all, is so special. And the video today is about Bronco action. We have multiple Broncos. Just finished up this Area 51 Outer Banks Apex Edition with a two-inch lift on KMC wheels. I love the KMC wheel here rendition because it's a matte black finish with a gloss black lip. Back here, two-inch lift, KMC wheels, 20 by 9, plus one offset, 35, 12 and a half, 20. Go with the 20-inch wheel. Don't be hating on the 20s, y'all, because the 20 still looks great and performs well off-road. I must say that i hate this bar y'all from forward will you not put this on there i hate it because up front you lose the vibe yes you can still see bronco it actually was a little bit shorter when the first rendition of that bull bar but to me it's just not functional or protective it's getting in the way of that beautiful gloss grill and it just is too close to the grill if it would come out a little bit more maybe so but area 51 you've seen a lot of videos of us doing this rendition and it works a great color also a note the azure gray coming to the Raptor R. Got me pumped about that. I'm pretty sure it's Area 51 with a different name. Much like the Stealth Fighter and Cactus Gray from the Mustang to Bronco is uh, the same, just name different. We're sitting nicely, lower 70s, but we're actually showing it right now. That's why it is sitting here. So it may not be here by the time this video gets out, but check our website, agansford.com. And the outer bank on these side fenders here, they come body color, door handles, as well as mirror covers, uh, much like my wife's I'm about to show you now. I got it up on the rock for you, looking amazing with the doors off and top off, put a subwoofer, I'm about to show you that. Here we go, the diamond, y'all. Not talking about the wife, I'm talking about the Bronco. They're both special to me. This Bronco has gotta be the best I've ever seen. And I know you're saying real deal, you're just saying that because it's your wife. No, legitimately, this is in the mind for quite a while and I think it turned out to be the baddest out there. I had many people uh, reiterate that to me and I'm so proud uh, to be able to produce this here with our guys at Wild Lizard Aiken. It turned out incredible. Look at the little flex action. I mean, such a diamond sitting right here. Took the doors off and the top off pretty much all summer long, giving Brady the Red Raptor. We have his vehicle to drive around when it's raining and Thomas actually saved me today, y'all, because I drove it here and it started raining, but he got the key and moved it out back beforehand so uh, guys always looking out for me sasquatch looking incredible with all of our upgrades all the custom paint painted hard top ADD bumpers fender flares and more but today i'm just wanting to show you all the stinger subwoofer i've been waiting on for so long looking so clean in the back not taking up hardly any room at all and this rear gate opens up way past 90 degrees too. So showcasing that functionality for you. So if you're needing to access this rear portion here, it swings open with plenty of room to spare. And then the Stinger 12 inch sub out back, so discreet as I mentioned, doesn't even protrude out past that mark right there. So I thought it was actually gonna stick out farther, but it does not. Obviously I cannot let you hear it because you're not gonna hear the bass through the, through the sound system here, but it adds ample great bass that is just what this vehicle needed. Just showed you this Bronco in the Area 51. Now it's time for Michael DiPirio's dad's Cactus Gray bad boy that Albert's working on. So I actually went and changed my clothes, y'all, because we're dealing with a dang good dog and a great repeat customer in Michael D'Imperio for his dad's Bronco. He even played some minor league ball, a true stud, and another true stud is Jim Tomey. We decked out his special trimmer, Super Duty, right here at Aikens and Wild Willys, and we have another amazing Bronco for Michael D'Imperio's dad. Let's go. Me and Michael hit it off from the get-go because he played baseball for the University of Georgia, but more so than that, him and I have a lot of similarities. We're into going Guns, we're into all the details, we're into anything auto. So Michael, thanks again for trusting in us and letting us hook up your dad's amazing Cactus Gray Black Diamond. Now check out these before shots of 
how basic and mundane. But Michael knew that he wanted some Wild Willys Apex Edition actions. Two inch ready lift lift kit has this thing sitting up pretty much just like a Sasquatch package. It looks almost identical, feels even just like it. The ready lift kit is a spacer on all four corners. And we have the Method MR703. I love this with the new bead grip technology that uh, since it acts kind of like a bead lock, it holds that tire in place even better than a single, a normal two-piece wheel. 35, 12 and a half, 17, BFG, KO2 tires, a great all-terrain tire. Been around for forever. It, you know it's gonna get good results out of it. So great overall ride quality and performance on-road and off-road and longevity is the key. Now, check out Michael's Space White F-150 video link up at the top right there because it is very special and have some red accents via tow hooks up front to accentuate uh, the Cactus Gray, the Space White, both of them are legit. Make sure you watch that video after this one, y'all. Did red toe hooks on the front. He actually had a non-modular bumper. So I actually hooked him up with my wife's modular bumper off the front. It's about the connections and taking care of friends is what we're all about, especially your boy, Real Deal. Read the triple fog light kit up front looking amazing mild to wild scale with that offset being right in that sweet spot as it's sticking out a good inch inch and a half it looks amazing it looks great because we have a nice balance right in that mid-level range or a mild to wild scale with the black diamond you get that textured grill up front sasquatch fenders we added because he didn't like how narrow the non sasquatch were so we have sasquatch fenders that we hooked him up with on the side to give you more overall coverage bronco side strip i love this graphic down the side too let me know what you think about that i think it uh, has a great little retro vibe to it with the go rhino rb20 raptor style running boards which are awesome too y'all uh, great confident footstep right there for you addicted desert design stealth fighter rear bumper to tie it all together because just didn't want him to have a non-steel bumper in the back and the steely up front so we've got rigid d-series lights to illuminate your back there see so your reverse sensors work as well swap this out for a black bronco badge the cactus gray is a great color to me and I just know that he's going to absolutely love uh, the overall experience he has now with our Apex Edition package. Lots of details gone into this build. Speedometer calibrator, black diamond, that nice marine grade vinyl in the grayish with blue accent stitching. Blue throughout the side, the black diamond presents. Love that startup right there. You don't have to get all wild and crazy with your Bronco to make it legit. This one to me is legit because it has that overall rugged appeal to it. You can tell that it's custom and lifted and has some nice upgrades to make it more functional and safe and just better overall for everyday enjoyment. I cannot wait to hear what uh, his dad has to say about it. And I cannot wait to maybe go tailgate with Mike. I gotta go get with him and shoot some guns or do something, y'all, because truly a great guy, just like all of our customers, y'all. Truly amazing. There goes a great guy, a dang good dog, and a friend of mine now, y'all. That's what it's about, the network and meeting great people. And DePirio has got the top down. He's out. And we're so blessed to be a part of something so special that we have going on right here at Aikens Ford and Wild Willys Custom Accessories in Winder, Georgia. So for everything Bronco, for everything Expedition, we have some expeditions coming to you with some heat. I have a car show August the 20th. Michael, see if you and Pops on Saturday, August 20th, before the dogs start playing football, come to our car show uh, here on site. We're gonna have special guest judges, food, fellowship, and lots of great cars to see. Hit that subscribe button, y'all, and I will catch you next time.